Autolite and its 98,000 dealers bring you Miss Rosemary Clooney in tonight's presentation of Suspense. Tonight, Autolite presents a story about the Roaring Twenties and the violent people who lived them. As with song and story, we tell you about St. James Infirmary Blues. Our star, Time Magazine's cover girl, Miss Rosemary Clooney. Well, Harlow, did you enjoy G.W.'s birthday? Yes, sir, Hap. Quite a guy, George. And an Autolite Stay Full battery user, of course. He was? Well, he is. George just can't buy a better battery than the one that needs water only three times a year in normal car use. I suppose he used a stay full to start his boat across the Delaware. Well, if he did, he got the quickest and most powerful start of his life. And uh, G.W. agrees. George Washington? Oh, no, no. George Wilcox, my brother. Oh. Friends, to quickly locate your Autolite battery dealer, whose services all makes of batteries... Phone Western Union by number and ask for Operator 25. And I'll gladly tell you where to get an Autolite Staple, the battery that needs water only three times a year in normal car use. And remember, from bumper to tail light, you're always right with Autolite. And now, Autolite presents Miss Rosemary Clooney in St. James Infirmary Blues, hoping once again to keep you in suspense. St. James Infirmary I saw my sweetheart there All stretched out on a long white table So pale, so cold so fair. Hey, how do you like it, honey? It's all right. Hey, you know who that is over there? Brock. Brock Martin. And all those guys around him. Mm-hmm. Every one of them gangsters. I told you, didn't I? I told you I'd take you to the fanciest speakeasy in New York. Oh, that's Brock. He owns this whole end of town. You see the way they let me in, Sheila? It was very impressive, Freddie, dear. And how do you like the liquor here, huh? Right from Canada. You know, one thing about Brock... Freddie. Yeah, honey? Who's he? Huh? The boy with the black hair. Oh, he's Brock's trigger. What does that mean, honey? <laughs> oh, baby, baby. Trigger. Trigger means you want somebody out of the way. Uh, shot. And the boy with the black hair does it? That's what the papers say. That's Nick Volpe. You know him? Oh, you point these guys out, you don't know him. Hey, hey where you going? That's what I said. Three to two on Dempsey at Philly tomorrow, Brock. Don't you think we ought to take a hunt? Whatever you say, Nicky. Whatever Nicky says. This yours, Nicky? Nicky hasn't started to find out yet. Who are you, baby? Sheila. This is Sheila, Brock. Why? <laughs> Tell him, baby. It's a dull place. I don't like dull. You see, Brock? Sit down, Sheila. I've got a table. I know, I saw. I know. You stared, Nicky, but I was too far away. You really couldn't tell. Freddy? Oh. <sighs> Hello, Mr. Volpe. You're who? Well, uh, just a customer. Just brought Sheila here. Uh, Sheila. It was lovely, Freddy. I guess we better go now. Goodbye, Freddy. Hey, I can't leave you here with these. <laughs> Sheila. Valentino's playing down the street, Freddy. Go see him. Do that. Hi, Nick. The dough went away, didn't it? Keep it like that. Sure. I'd roam the wide world over But not Like red rockets 
Exciting. You ought to go home. Exciting. This week, a whole week of Nikki. You don't. All right, let's get going, Cleo. Any trouble, boss? <laughs> ah, just pie. Little guy in that store even thanked me for the protection we give him. Nikki. What, baby? Nothing. Just Nikki. <laughs> You're not smiling, Nikki. Trouble? Oh, not much. Cleo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I'll take it slow. Get down in the car, baby. Nikki. Get down, I told you. All right, beat it. Sheila, honey. What? You know why that happened? You know why that man's store just blew up in his face? Sheila, when I tell you to do something, you'll do it, huh? about you, Nick. While I was mixing this drink, I was thinking, wouldn't it... Shut up! All right. Here. Take my drink. Lousy booze. What's the matter, Nick? Look, anybody asks you, I've been here for the last five hours. Sure, but... What happens if anyone asks you? You were here. Five hours, Nick. All right. Now you tell me. Listen to me. A guy got killed. Who? What difference does it make? He was hauling a load of bulls from Montreal. He didn't make it. He got hijacked. He didn't like it. He didn't do what he was told to do, so he's dead. You kill him, Nick? How could I kill him? I've been here for the last five hours. That's right, Nick. It was Brock's bulls. It was Brock's boy who got killed. Brock will kill you for it. You should Listen to me. Don't you know what I'm telling you? Nick, you're hurting me. Brock's going to kill nobody, you understand? Now, Nick! Nick! That's the phone. Hello? Nicky there. Who's this? Brock. He's here, Brock. You want to talk to him? How long has he been there? Five hours. Listen, Sheila, tell him something for me. Tell him McCready never got in with his truck because he got killed. Tell Nick McCready's going to have a funeral tomorrow. Tell him to be there. I'll tell him. Nick. You did good. I'm scared. Touch this to you, baby. Scares away the scare. 50,000 times. One for each dollar. All that money. All that happy time, baby. Put it away for a rainy day for us. You like Cuba, baby? Right now, I like it right here. Nick. Cuba's later. <laughs> So we went down to the funeral A man my Nick had killed Parade of long black autos The streets with crowds were filled Six crap shooters as Paul Barrows. A chorus girl 
sang a song with a jazz band on his hers, raising cane as we drove along. <laughs> Nicky Field. I haven't seen him for the last half hour. Oh, Sheila. Yes, sir. Oh. Hi, Brock. Hi, Brock. He wants you, Miss Sheila. What? Brock's nodding to you. That means he wants you. All right. And here, Sheila, I want to talk to you. Sit down. You want a drink? No. You want Nicky? What did you do to him? Nothing's going to happen to him that you won't know about. He was with me. He didn't kill McCrady. I swear he was with me, Brock. You're a pretty girl, Sheila. You got a nice face. Take care of yourself. Mostly don't lie. Don't kill him, Brock. He was the only one that knew about that load of booze from Montreal. I got a phone call from Patterson, New Jersey, a guy who runs things over there. He laughed in my face. He said, my boy Nick just sold him a load of my whiskey. You want to see, Nick? Sure you do. Charlie, bring him in. Inside, big shot. Nicky! Hi, Sheila. It's all right, baby. Doesn't hurt. Sure it don't, Nick. Nothing's gonna hurt anymore. Take him, Charlie. Let's go, big shot. The ride's what we got for you. You too, Sheila. Come on. Okay, Cleo. Yes, sir. Out, Nick. Baby. Come on. She won't let him go, boss. Make her. Yeah. <laughs> she let go. Come on, Nick. Bye, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Baby. Nick. You better believe it, Sheila. It just happened to him. Autolite is bringing you Miss Rosemary Clooney in St. James Infirmary Blues... Tonight's presentation in Suspense. You know, Harlow, life was tough in Washington's time. Ah, it sure was, Hap. Imagine having to get along without an Autolite Stay Full, the great battery that needs water only three times a year in normal car use. But... They didn't need Autolite stay-full batteries in that time. Why, half folks should have the stay-full advantages all the time. Those fiberglass retaining mats protect the power of every positive plate, reduce shedding and flaking, and give the Autolite stay-full longer life, as proved by tests conducted according to accepted life cycle standards. But, Harlow, they didn't have cars in Washington's time. They weren't worth having without an Autolite stay-full, Hap. Friends, visit your Autolite battery dealer. He services all makes of batteries, and he has an Autolite stay full for your car if a replacement is needed. To quickly locate him, phone Western Union by number and ask for... Operator 25. I'll gladly tell you where to get an Autolite stay full. The battery that needs water only three times a year in normal car use. And remember, from bumper to tail light, you're always right with Autolite. And now... Autolite brings back to our Hollywood soundstage Miss Rosemary Clooney in Elliot Lewis's production of St. James Infirmary Blues, a story well calculated to keep you in suspense. (laughs) 
You've been a good girl, Sheila. I like that. Just try to smile when we get inside the club. Open it, Lefty. The smile, Sheila, like it just came from a party. With laughs. All right, Brock, buy a drink. Hi, Brock. Some other time. Come on, have a drink with me, Brock. My office, Sheila. Inside. Here, I'll take your coat. Brock. Sit down, Sheila. Uh, drink it. No. Nick used to tell me to do things, and I did them. He's dead now. You're not. Thank me, Sheila. You're fat. Nick was a good boy. He met you. Something happened to him. He crossed me. Now he's dead. You see what I can do, Sheila? You're fat and you're old. I've seen him like you. Beautiful. Culture's the word, isn't it, Sheila? Good family, money, everything. But really nothing at all. Excitement's what you need, isn't it? What do I do to you, Brock? I don't know. But I do it, don't I? Yeah. Make me another drink, Brock. Sheila, I... Make me another drink. All right, Sheila. Yeah. Drink it, baby, and we'll make it the start of a... Wipe the gin off your face, Brock. Enjoy it? Mm Mm-hmm. Let me make up my mind about something. Whether we should ride back to where Nicky got his and throw you away. You think that would be exciting, Sheila? Do it right here. You've got the gun. Oh, Sheila. Sheila. You want to kiss me? Go ahead. (laughs) You taste of gin. I've got to stay alive now, huh, Brock? Bye. I left my Nicky's killer The clarinet played so sad to cab at 44th Street. Oh, I had it oh so bad. Put on my black lace nightgown. Turn down my cold, cold bed. The blue Sure, Nikki. Over here. Lie down. No, no, listen. I gotta get him. I gotta get Brock. You're hurt. You're hurt so terribly. Brock, bring him to me. You need a doctor, Nikki. I'll get you a doctor. I don't want one. I want Brock. Get him for me. I'm dying, Sheila. Gotta get Brock before I die. You gotta do it for me. Yes. I can do it for you, Nikki. And a gun. Yes. Go to Cleo. He'll give you a gun. Yes. Lie down, Nick. Here. Put your arm around me. We'll do it, won't we? We'll kill Brock. We'll kill him. Miss Sheila. Hello, Cleo. May I come in? Well, uh, I don't know. Sure you do. What do you want? I want a gun, Cleo. Oh, I can't do that, Miss Sheila. Why not? 
Well, Brock didn't say give you a gun. It doesn't matter. Oh, you're wrong, Miss Sheila. That's what matters the most. You see, if Brock called me and said give you a gun, it'd be all right. I'll call him. All right. You want to know what I'm going to tell him? Yeah, I know about the gun. I'll listen in. About how you were waiting for me when I left his place. How we went riding and had some drinks. And how I've, how I'm here now and I want to go home and you won't let me. Please, Miss Sheila, put, put the phone down. All right. What about the gun, Cleo? I'll get it. Here. Yeah. Thanks, Cleo. Miss Sheila. Yes? What do you want it for? Let me ask you something, Cleo. Did you like Nicky? I liked him all right. He's alive. Oh, well, you're kidding. Brock got written. Nicky's alive, Cleo. He liked you. I thought you'd want it. Cleo, don't. Hand over, 79715. Cleo! I got to, Miss Sheila. Brock's my boss. He's got to know... Cleo, don't! You've got to understand, Miss Sheila. Hello. 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 Hello, Brock. Who is this? Sheila. Sheila? Hello, Sheila. I'm lonely, Brock. Doll. I can fix it, baby. It'll take you about an hour to get to my place, won't it, Brock? That's how long I can stand it without you. Just that long. See you. Sheila? It's me, honey. How do you feel? It's better now. You're here. I got the gun, Nick. Give it to me. Three bullets missing, Sheila. I know. Been fired not long ago, ain't it? I know. What happened? I told Cleo you were alive. He was going to call Brock. So you shot him. Let me hold you, Nick. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Nicky. What, baby? It was easy. Brock coming. He'll be here in about a half hour. Hold me, baby. No tears. No blues. No It hurts me to laugh, Sheila, but it's funny. <laughs> oh, listen to him. Do you want me to do it for you, Nick? Shoot him. I'd do it. Just show him in the living room, baby. Then I'll make an entrance. You snapped your fingers and I came running, Sheila. I'll snap them again, Brock. What are you going to do now? You tell me. <laughs> no, I mean it. I'll think of something. Take off your coat. We'll have some music. Yeah, sure. Ah, it's a nice place you got here. Nick liked it. Yeah, tough about him. Dance with me, honey. You, uh... Wanna dance with me? You dance whether you'd put your hands on it. I couldn't stand that... Nick. All I did was say goodbye to everybody. What are you going to do, Brock? No, 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 no. Don't do it, Nick. He's no. going to. No, no, no. Please, please, Nick. No, say no. Say a pretty no. word no. before you die, No, no please, please. For the love of No, it's over, baby. Now we'll get a doctor. No. Too late, baby. But it was fun. Wasn't it fun, Sheila? Nick, don't die. Baby. Nick. Nick! Nick! 
Uh, here's your receipt, officer. Mm-hmm. Received by St. James Infirmary, one body dead on arrival, Brock Garvey. Also received one Nick Volpe. Died five minutes after arrival. Right. Now, what's she doing in there? The girl? Oh, just standing by his table, staring at him. Get her. Okay. Hey, miss. Policeman wants you. Says you got to go with him now. Here she is, officer. You see what you wanted to see, miss? I saw. I saw my Nicky all stretched out on the table. So sweet, so cold, so fair. Let him go, let him go, and bless him. Wherever he may be, he can look this way. He'll never find a sweet girl like me. Suspense. Presented by Autolite. Tonight's star, Miss Rosemary Clooney. This is Harlow Wilcox again, speaking for Autolite, world's largest independent manufacturer of automotive electrical equipment. Autolite is proud to serve the greatest names in the industry. That's why during these early months of 53, the Autolite family joins in saluting the leading car manufacturers who install Autolite products as original equipment. Our Autolite family is made up of some 30,000 men and women in 28 great Autolite plants from coast to coast and in still other Autolite plants in many foreign countries. And more than 18,000 people who have invested a portion of their savings in Autolite as well as 98,000 Autolite distributors and dealers in the United States and thousands more in Canada and throughout the world. Our Autolite family will salute Willis Overland on the next Autolite Suspense television program. If you live in a television area, check the day and time of Suspense on television so that you will be sure to see this program. Next week, the story about a man who felt he was bigger and more important than anything else in the world and lost his life trying to prove it. The story is called The Storm. Our star, Mr. Frank Lovejoy. That's next week on Suspense. Suspense is produced and directed by Elliot Lewis, with music composed by Lucian Morrowick and conducted by Lud Gluskin. St. James Infirmary Blues was written for Suspense by Morton Fine and David Friedkin. In tonight's story, Anthony Barrett was heard as Nick and William Conrad as Brock. Others in the cast were Billy Halep, Joseph Kearns, Clayton Post, Vivi Janis, and Shep Menken. Rosemary Clooney can currently be seen as the star of the Paramount picture, The Stars Are Singing. And remember, next week, Mr. Frank Lovejoy in The Storm. This is the CBS Radio Network.